I'm just going to talk about some of the vocabulary differences that I've noticed between US English and Australian English. So I was born and raised in America. I came to Australia two and a half months ago. If you find that any of these are incorrect, then just feel free to comment below like what you call it and also where you're from. I'm also going to talk about some of the spelling differences and the pronunciation differences. In the US, we call Call it an elevator. In Australia, they call it a lift. In the US, we call it a restroom or a bathroom. And in Australia, they call it a toilet. If you're in America and you're trying to find a toilet, then you would actually look for a sign that says restroom most of the time. You don't really see like signs that say bathroom that often. I feel like it's mostly like restroom. Bathroom is more informal. I feel like if you were in America and you asked for the toilet, it would just be extremely specific. In Australia, if you're trying to look for the bathroom, then you just find a sign that says toilet. In the US, like if we were to say the date, we would say, for example, January 1st of 2024. But in Australia, it's more commonly say the 1st of January of 2024. In America, what's known as a trunk is known as a boot. The back part of your car where it like lifts up. In the US, a bell pepper is what's known as capsicum in Australia. It's called a bell pepper in the US because because the pepper is shaped like a bell. In the US, we call it a flashlight, whereas in Australia, they call it a torch. In America, we call it a gas station, those places where we pump gas or petrol in Australia. In Australia, they call it a petrol station or a servo. And in America, those places where we find medicine, toiletries and stuff, like we would go to the drugstore, right? In America, we call a pharmacy or a drugstore. For example, like some of the drugstores in the US are CVS and Walgreens. For example, if you're trying to pick up a prescription like from your doctor, you would go to the drugstore. But in Australia, they call it a chemist. They sell like makeup, like shampoo, conditioner, and of course medicine. In America, we call it candy. Australia, they call it a lolly. I wonder what Australians would call a lollipop. Do they still call it a lollipop? And then in America, we call it a parking lot. And in Australia, they call it a car park. In America, we call it fries. And in Australia, we call it chips. The hot ones that you would find at McDonald's would be known as chips in Australia. Fish and chips, for example. Like, it's actually fish and fries then. Like, in American terms, it's called fish and fries then, I suppose. But then in Australia, I think how they differentiate between fries and chips then, because chips are fries to them. So then chips are crispy chips that are in the bag are known known as crisps, I think. I think that's how to differentiate between fries and chips because fries are chips. Yeah, and then in America, chips are the, the ones in a bag, the cold ones. In Australia, AC is known as aircon. I'm pretty sure in America, like some people might call it aircon, but I've always said AC. It's a subtle difference. In, in America, we call it a grocery store, and in Australia, they call it a supermarket. I think like supermarket is a term that is used in America but I feel like it's less used. Australians like to call McDonald's Maccas. I feel like Australians just don't like to like say the whole word for some reason. They always like to shorten things. Where can I find the nearest Maccas? If you went and asked an American that, they'd be so confused. They would not know what you're asking. Like in America, like we just, we just say McDonald's, like the full word. In America, we call it a sidewalk, whereas in Australia, they call it a footpath. It's called a sidewalk because it's a path on the side of the road, you know, like on the side Walk. And then in America, we'd say afternoon, right? Like the whole word, like there's no like abbreviation. There's no shortened word. We just say afternoon, you know, the whole word. Australia, like I said, they like to shorten words. So afternoon is Arvo. I went to the store like a few days ago. The woman that was working at the register said good Arvo to me. R's are basically silent here. So it's like good Avo, <laughs> good Avo. And in America, we call them flip flops. 
the shoes that separate between your big toe and the rest of your toes flip-flops because they make a sound when you walk it sounds like flip-flop flip-flops are known as thongs and i'm assuming that's because they separate your toes like an underwear thong would right how australians differentiate between thongs and underwear thong then the shoe thong versus the underwear thong i think australians would call it a g-string instead of a thong then and then in america like thongs are the underwear thongs do not mean the shoe at all if you say g-string in america a g-string would be an even more thinner version of a thong in my mind a thong is something that still has a little bit of fabric maybe like an inch or half an inch wide of fabric but a g-string in my mind is basically like a shoelace kind of width even thinner than a thong in america we call it a garbage bin or a trash bin personally i call it trash more than garbage uh, where can i find a trash bin in australia it's more known as rubbish for example if you're in public and you're trying to find somewhere to throw away your trash then you would actually find a sign that says like on the bin it would say rubbish not trash in america we call the season fall fall so in america between like September and December is fall. In Australia, fall is known as autumn. And in Australia, autumn is not between September and December. It's actually between March and May. So right now it's February. So next month is actually fall. I'm looking forward to it. In America, if you said autumn, I guess people would understand you. Like I'm pretty sure there's like Americans that say autumn as well. But I guess it's used interchangeably. Like fall and autumn is like both of those words are used in America. Fall is just easier to say, you know, it's one syllable. Like autumn is also more formal. And then in America, we call it a vacation, whereas in Australia, they call it a holiday. For example, in Australia, if if you were taking a trip with your family and you were going to the Caribbean or something, then you would say, yeah, I'm going on holiday to the Caribbean, not I'm going on vacation to the Caribbean. I think people would still understand you though if you said you're going on vacation to the Caribbean. But in America, a holiday is like a public holiday. Like a holiday is, for example, Christmas or Easter or Thanksgiving or Labor Day. It's a day. In America, Americans would call it a retirement account, a 401k. In Australia, the equivalent of a 401k is a super, which is short for superannuation. And then in America, we call it a package. Those packages, I guess, that you get in the mail, like for example, that like you order from Amazon. Whereas in Australia, it would be known as a parcel. I'm assuming that the word parcel is used to describe boxes of all different sizes. In America, we call the front part of a car, like the glass part, would be considered a windshield. Whereas in Australia, it would be known as a windscreen. In America, we call the first meals, like the entry meals in a restaurant, would be called an appetizer. I think Australians also use the word appetizer, but I'm not entirely sure because usually when I look at the menu in Australia, I see the word entree in replacement of appetizer. So if if you're looking for an appetizer, then you would look for the word entree in Australia. In America, an entree is the main meal. If you were in an Italian restaurant and you want your main meal to be spaghetti and meatballs, then spaghetti and meatballs would be your entree, like your main meal. In Australia, like what do they call, is there like a specific word for main meal then? In America, it's called a shopping cart. <laughs> but in Kmart in Australia, you would find the word that says trolley because that's what Australians call shopping carts is a trolley. Australians always like say the word mate, right? When they're referring to one of their friends, they just call them a mate. In America, like nobody does that. Like they would say, oh, my friend and I, like the other day we... In America, we call the last year of high school be considered 12th grade. Whereas in Australia, the last year of high school would be considered year 12. Very subtle difference. In America, higher education is known as college. Whereas in Australia, it's known as uni or university. But I feel like uni is more commonly used because like I said, Australians like to shorten their words. In America, college is more often used 
than university. College and university in America are the same thing. Like, I feel like if you said the word college here in Australia, people would probably assume you're talking about high school or maybe they assume that you're talking about trade school possibly. In America, I feel like if you wanted to ask somebody, do you need me to drive you there? You would ask them, do you need a ride? in America. I'm gonna go meet up with this person anyway, so do you need a ride? Or that would be like something you'd ask. But in Australia, you would ask, do you need a lift? In America, for example, if you're trying to go to a restaurant and you didn't want to eat there, like you don't want to sit there, you just want to take it out. Yeah, you would ask the employee, could I get this to go? And then in Australia, it would be considered takeaway. Yeah, I used to work at Culver's. So in America, Culver's is like a restaurant that sells like burgers and custard and it's very popular among like families i guess like culver's is very known for their kids meals i would always ask them is this going to be for here or to go whereas i think like in australia i think they would ask dine-in or takeaway like a restaurant employee asked me dine-in or takeaway i would literally say for here <laughs> i wouldn't even say dine-in i literally i'm just like for here. In America, tomato sauce is known as ketchup. I guess in Australia, it wouldn't be tomato sauce because it'd be tomato sauce, obviously. I think in Australia, people probably know what ketchup is. I think it's like hard to not know what ketchup is everybody is kind of like exposed to a lot of the american words you know in america those inserts of your blankets are called a duvet versus in australia it's more known as a quilt for example i was trying to find a cover for my duvet a duvet cover i always end up finding like on the packaging it says quilt cover instead of duvet cover i'm pretty sure it's is also known as a doona, D-O-O-N-A in Australia. When I think of the word quilt, I think more of like a handmade blanket, like a blanket that's made by grandma or something. Like There's also some spelling differences as well. So one that I've noticed is lasagna. <laughs> so the word lasagna is spelled as L-A-S-A, G-N-A in the US versus in Australia, it's spelled as L-A-S-A-G-N-E, lasagne. And then in America, pajamas are spelled as P-A-J-A-M-A-S, whereas in Australia, it's spelled as P-Y-J-A-M-A-S the subtle differences. And then in the US, the difference between the ERs at the end of words, and then in Australia, it's RES. For example, the word center in America would be spelled as C-E-N-T-E-R, whereas in Australia, it would be spelled as C-E-N-T-R-E. So the word meter would be spelled as M-E-T-E-R in America, whereas in Australia, it would be spelled as M E. T-R-E. The difference between S-E and then in Australia, it's C-E. So those like two letters at the end of the words. So the word license would be spelled in America as L-I-C-E-N-S-E. -E. And then in Australia, it would be spelled as L-I-C-E-N-C-E. -E. And then same with the word offense. So in America, it would be O-F-F. -F E-N-S-E, -E, whereas in Australia, it's O-F-F-E-N-C-E -E, with the letter Z versus the letter S. So the word organized would be spelled in America as O-R-G-A-N-I-Z-E-D, whereas in Australia, it will be spelled as O-R-G-A-N-I-S-E-D but also the word apologize would be spelled that way as well. And then emphasize and also analyze. Also the word color in America does not have a U in it. It's spelled as C-O-L-O-R, whereas in Australia it's C-O-L, O U R and same with the word honor and also the word favorite. 
In America, the word enroll would have two L's at the end of it, and fulfill would also have two L's at the end of it. But in Australia, there's only one L at the end of enroll and one L at the end of fulfill. Also, pronunciation differences. The letter Z in the alphabet in America would be pronounced as Z. In Australia, the letter Z is pronounced as Z like the DJ. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the DJ, like Z-E-D-D. -D. I'm American, so I say aluminum, but in Australia, they say aluminum. And then in America, it's a tomato, versus in Australia, it's a tomato. Every time that I see the word tomato on a menu, I get a little bit afraid because I don't want to say the word tomato here for some reason. Like, the employees, I know they're gonna give me a look if I say tomato. So that is the end of my list. There's probably more words out there. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate that.